hi guys welcome back to the channel this is nasa Stred. today we'll be learning how to make the stylish romper um or a play suit so if it's something you're interested in keep watching let's get right into this so we'll be making use of a pattern paper and i have um two yards of crepe i'll be using for this now you can make use of any fabric of your choice and i have my other sewing things for this okay so the first thing we want to do is to draft out our pattern on the paper so because i'm using a very colorful fabric for this i'm going to draft that on the paper now my paper is in folded so from this end here it's going to serve as my center front I will be taking two and a half inches okay so i'm going to mark two and a half inches from the top of my paper to the length of my paper now if you're in small on a smaller side you can use two inches then if you're on a bigger side you can use three inches okay this is what we're going to use for our crouch measurement so if you're on a smaller size you can use two if you're on a medium size you can use two and a half because that is what i'm using then if you're on a bigger side you can use three inches so after i finished marking my two and a half inches i just went on with my rule to connect the points i have made together okay so after doing that i'm going to rule a line at the top which will serve as my starting line and also my shoulder line so we're not confused our measurement is going to start from that end so from that end i'm going to mark my shoulder to bust my shoulder to waist my shoulder to my hip so i'm just going to rule the lines on this point have marked my shoulder to the bust point my shoulder to the waist and then my shoulder to my hip okay then we're going to take the measurement of the length so um in this case it can be as long as you want it or as short as you want it so on my paper i marked 38 inches for the length of this i will go on later to add my hemming allowance to this later on but for this i used 38 inches so if you want it shorter you just take the length of where you want your place suit to stop so after doing that i also made a line at that point then i'll go ahead and just label my various lines this is my shoulder my bust point my waist the hip point and then the full length So after doing that we're going to start taking um a measurement now from after the line i'm going to measure half of my shoulder measurement so my shoulder is 15 inches divided by two i have seven and a half but because this is um on a small sleeve area i'm going to remove one inch from that so instead of marking seven and a half i mark six and a half and then from that point i'm going to mark my armhole length the depth of my armhole which is your round balls divided by six plus one and a half and then i made a horizontal line at that point and also made a vertical line to meet with the mark i made for the shoulder area okay then the next thing i'm going to do is to go down by one inch from that point for my shoulder slant and then i'm going to take neck width now this um this romper has um an open neck area so i'll be using four and a half inches for this so if you want yours to be wider you can if you want it to be more closed you can whatever works for you so i use four and a half inches there and i just slanted it to meet the one inch i came down okay The next thing i want to get is my neck depth so i'm going to take the measurement i want for my neck depth now in this case you can make it as deep as you want or as close as you want it totally depends on your preference so i just use my curve root to connect the point i've made together okay so you can see i just you i'm just using a simple 
U neck in this case. Now to get my armhole curve, I'm going to take the measurement I have from my shoulder slant point, then divide that by two. Then at that point, I'll go in by half of an inch. Okay. Then on the line I drew for my armhole length, which is my chest point in this case, I'm going to take quarter of my round bust and then I'll connect the points together like so. So there we have it. Now after that, I'm going to mark quarter of my round bust on my bust point line and then I'll be adding two and a half inches. Now the two and a half inches I'm adding is one inch for stitching allowance and one and a half inches for ease because this is a free romper it is not fitted i repeated the same process on the waistline two quarter of the waist and added two and a half inches did the same thing at the hip quarter of the hip plus two and a half inches and then i connected the points i've made together So around the measurement for that of the waist, I decided to use my curve rule so that I'm going to get the curves that it's needed around this area, okay? So just follow through with your rule and just uh, mark it down. You can also use a straight rule if you don't have a curve rule. Just ensure to take off any parts that are straight so you can see what we have, okay? So now the next two we want to determine is our crouch depth. So this is more like... um. This is a romper, it has a trouser down. So we want to determine our crouch depth. So from the waist area, I'm going to divide my round hip by four. So my round hip is um 41 inches divided by four, I have 10.5. Then I'm going to add three inches to that. So instead of using 10.5, I'm going to use 13.5 inches. Now, the reason being that since it is connected with the up, you need it to be as free as possible so that that area is not um, snugged at the crouch area. And then I just extended the line outwards like so. Okay. Now, from that end, I went up by one inch in order to get my crouch curve. Then I'm going to use my um my rule to just make the curve there now this is the essence of the first um the inches we took earlier on on our pattern paper in my case i used two and a half that's just the essence for that okay it just helps you to get the crouch curve so you can see what i have there now placing my tape from the line here like so i'm going to take the measurement of my round upper tie so the Measurement should be loose, okay? I will take that measurement, divide, and then divide it by two and add my two and a half inches like I used, okay, for the other points. So remember, we added one inch for um, stitching and one and a half inches for ease. So that makes it two and a half. So I just connected that to the end. That's the full length, okay? So the next thing I'm going to do is to connect the line from my crouch area to the full length in a slanted form like so. So just watch how I'm going to connect this. All right, so this is what we have for our pattern. Now we'll be using this pattern to cut out the front and the back. We'll be making slight changes for that of the back or slight addition for that of the back. So I'm just going to cut this out. So you want to watch closely how I'm cutting this out so that you don't make mistakes. So this is what we have. Okay, so I'm going to take off this other end. This is what we have. Like I said, we're using this pattern to cut out the front and the back piece. Now to cut out the front, I just went in to fold my fabric into two. So since I'm using two yards of fabric, I'm ensuring that I 
do not have any waste whatsoever now i didn't say this earlier but you can use any fabric of your choice for this project i actually used a crepe fabric though mine came out a bit lighter so i advise to use a fabric with um a thick texture you can use a cotton ankara for this you can use your crepe you can use khaki fabric fabrics that have that um thick texture that are not so light okay it's going to make it relaxed okay so what i did at the bottom of the front was just to add one and a half inches which i'll be using to hem the edges later now for that of the back i will go ahead and cut out one piece firstly and then i will cut out my second piece now while cutting out the back ensure that around the crouch area you have at least one inch extra if you're on the small size but if you're on the big size you should have at least one and a half inches extra now the reason for adding allowance extra allowances to that of the back the back crouch is because of the butt at the back so you want to feel relaxed inside of this when you wear it so if you don't add this allowance it's going to be dragging at the back and it's not going to be comfortable so ensure to add that allowance and I also added my one and a half inches of hemming allowance. So you can see what I have there. This is the difference between what we have at the back and what we have at the front. Apart from that, every other thing is seen. So we want to start stitching. What I'm going to do already, my fabric is placed right side to right side. I will just go ahead and stitch it down around the crouch area by half of an inch. Then I will repeat the same thing to my front piece. You want to ensure you align them properly and then just stitch it from the crouch area by half of an inch down to the top area of this. So I will go ahead and just um, stitch that down. So I've stitched it down and this is what I have after I finished doing that. Okay. I've stitched it together. I've also stitched that off my front piece. Now, what we want to do is to pipe the neckline. So we're going to cut a facing for this. You can use your bias, already made bias to cut it out or cut your fabric in a bias form to do that. So I decided to use a facing for mine. I just unfolded a piece of fabric and I went ahead to trace what I have around my neckline so you can do this and then extend it to the armhole so i didn't have so much fabric and i didn't want to um waste my fabric so i just cut it cut out <laughs> a little piece of that for the neck area okay so if you don't know how to cut a facing this is how to do it what you need to do is to trace out what you have around the neck area now then from the shoulder area you just go in by one inch and then also make the same curve at the down part of your piece. All right, so this is what I have. You can see open up, this is what it looks like. So what I'll do is to place this around the neckline and then use this to turn it from the front to the back and then fold it up at the back. Then I'll also cut out extra pieces for the armhole and then repeat the same thing for the front. So uh, the next thing we want to do is to work on our pocket. I've gone ahead to cut out the piece for my pocket. So we have like a patch pocket. We have like a pocket at the chest area of this. Okay. So I've gone ahead to cut out that piece and I'll be using this white crepe fabric for this. So you want to um, know your position of placing this. I place this two inches away from my middle line. That's the center line of the front. And then I place this just below the armhole area, one inch below the armhole area. So I'll just go ahead and then place it properly, stitch it down following the shape I have. So I just made a little um, patch that I want to use as a design for this. So this is absolutely optional. So I'm just going to place this in a slanted form. This is a rectangle piece. I'll place this in a slanted form and then also stitch it down to my piece. So I'm stitching this to the front piece of my fabric. Make no mistake, you can also add pockets to that of the back around the butt area if you so wish to. So I'm going to place this both of them on the front and then stitch it down and show you what it looks like. 
so i've done that you can see this is what it looks like so that of the chest area has an opening where you can fit whatever you want to fit into that spot but that the other patch design has no opening but if you want to put a pocket at that point you can absolutely do that so the next thing we want to do is to put our um pockets that's the inside pocket because this also has an inner pocket so i took the measurement from the shoulder to my waist point and then i went down by one inch from that area now from my one inch point i'm going to measure the opening of my pocket how wide i want it to be so i use six inches but i advise you use seven so that you have more room for your hand you don't want it to um, be dragging you while you are trying to fix your hand inside i repeated the same process for the other end i just measured down to my waist went down by one inch and then measured my pocket length so i'll be using this piece to cut out the pocket i just went in to fold it into four because we'll be cutting out four pieces for our pocket now i'm just doing this manually placing my hands to ensure i have enough room okay so you want to ensure that your hands can go into this properly i just used my hand to trace it out and then i went in with the chalk to just retrace my lines again now you want to ensure that whatever you're using it matches the pocket depth pocket length you're trying to work with so since mine was six inches i ensured i had six inches and then i just used my scissors to follow the curve so if you're using seven inches ensure you have seven inches at the width so that it fits where you want to put your pocket so i just ensured i shaped this to what i wanted so this is what i have for my pocket i'm just going to trace out the top part so that they're all straightened up okay so we're going to bring back our piece now and stitch our pockets to this so i'm going to align this to this point that i marked earlier so we're going to be placing this right side of fabric to right side of fabric stitch it down by half of an inch repeat the same thing to the other point place it right side to right side stitch it down and repeat it for the other part that's the back part so i've done that this is my front and this is what it looks like after i finished attaching my pocket to this okay so what i'll do now is to place my front and back piece right side to right side so you want to ensure you're matching the sides you're matching your pocket areas every part is matching perfectly then you go ahead and stitch from the armhole by one inch then when you get into the pocket area stitch by half inch and then go back to your one inch okay you don't want to exhaust the allowance the space you have for your inner pocket so just stitch the pocket area by half of an inch and then stitch the other areas by one inch which we added for our seam allowance so i've done that this is what it looks like so this is the pocket so this is what i was talking about my hands were not going in as free as i wanted it to so i I hope you use seven inches so that you're not affected like myself so the next thing i want to do is to align the back and front crouch together so in this case ensure that the stitched lines are matching perfectly and then pin them down together go ahead and stitch it by half of an inch on both sides and also ensure to hem the edges okay you want to hem it down so i added one and a half inches I'm going to use that to hem the edge of mine. So I've done that. This is what this looks like. You can see. So folded together, you can see how everything is aligning properly. So by the time you finish, one part, one leg should not be longer than the other. They should all be equal. Okay. So next, I want to work on is um, the tie on the shoulder area. So I'll be using this white crepe again for this. I've gone ahead to cut out four pieces for this since we have two on the front and two on the back. So the width I have to cut this out, you have to determine the width you have around the shoulder area. So I had two and a half inches so i cut out my piece with um five and a half inches stitch that down turn it to the right side and then ironed it out and then i had two and a half inches left then for the length i have 20 inches of length okay so you want to ensure you close down one end and then you leave the other end 
open now the essence of leaving one end open is because the open ends will be where you will attach to the shoulder point so you are going to be pinning this down to the right side of your fabric so you're going to place open ends to the right side of your fabric and you're going to pin them down so you can use um same fabric for the tie on the shoulder but since i have the white um appearing in on the, the cloth already the romper i decided to just use that for the tie so that it matches with what i have on my pocket piece so i just place this right side to right side and then i pin them down together okay so after that i'll go back to the machine and stitch them down by half of an inch just stitch it down all through by half of an inch so this is what it looks like after i finished so this is actually an easy tutorial easy quick simple so this is what it looks like after i finish i'm going to wear this so that you can see how it fits so this is what it looks like you can see how free this is it looks nice it looks cute it looks lovely i enjoyed making this okay so this is what it looks like so you can use whatever fabric of your choice for this to make it as long or as short as you want so this brings us to the end of our video today and um, if you're here to the end of the video you're yet to subscribe to the channel please subscribe let me know in the comment section if you found this video helpful and turn on the notification bell so when i post a new video thank you for watching love you and bye